In this video, I'm going to go over a couple of triple integration problems. This one's going to be regarding switching the order of integration to make evaluating certain integrals easier. So you might be asking why you would switch the order of integration. And for this problem, you can see that if you went to integrate with respect to y first, you run into the problem of having y squared as the exponent of e. And you might not be familiar with how to deal with that. So instead, what you could do is switch the order of integration and see if that makes evaluating any easier. In this case, we're going to switch it to dx, dy, dz. And to start off this problem, you're going to want to write down the bounds for each of your variables. So I'll just do that right now. So we have z going from 0 to 1. We also have x going from 0 to 1. And then we have our y going from x squared to 1. And now I also like to sketch out these regions just to make it easier in some situations. Some situations you don't really need it, but sometimes it makes it easier. So this is uh, y, and this one's z, just your usual axis, axes. And we, we have a parabola as our lower bound in the xy plane, so we're going to draw that. Very nice parabola in this xy plane. And we know our upper bound is the line y equals to 1. This is our region in the xy plane, and we, we see that z goes from 0 to 1. For this problem, we simply just extend this, this region upwards. So we get this nice little cheese wedge kind of shape. And we're not really going to need this picture too much for this problem, but sometimes it makes it easier. So what we're going to do next is, since we're going to change it to the order of dx, dy, dz, we need our bounds, our first bounds, to be x in terms of y. So to do that, we just solve this equation right here. And we end up with x is going to be less than square root of y. And we know the lower bound on x already, given here is 0. And then since we know that x goes from 0 to 1 in our initial bounds, we, we now know that our y bounds are going to go from 0 to 1, since this line here is taken care of by the first bounding function. And so next we're just going to set up the triple integral with our new bounds. So remember now z and y both go from 0 to 1. And then we're going to use this as our new bounding, our new first uh, bounding functions for our x integral. Let me trade our function in as, as usual. with our new order of integration, with the dx first. This might not look too different at first, but after we start to integrate through it, we'll, you'll see that it's an easier integral to evaluate. So now we integrate with respect to x. End up getting 6x six, uh, six squared z e z y squared from 0 to root y. And it's good to remember to write these dy dz's at the end, just so you keep track of everything. And we just evaluate inside its integral real quick. And you may have already noticed that we can now turn this problem into a u substitution problem since we have our u as y squared, and then we can set our du equal to 2y and have it come in in this part of the equation. So u equals y squared, and du equals, or du equals 2y here. 2y dy. 
And now we just evaluate our new integral using u substitution. So that's going to be the integral of 3z e to the z u. And this whole thing is going to be what uh, we're going to integrate over in our final integral. So if you integrate this with respect to u, you just end up with 3e to the z u. And then you just plug uh, your u back in. And in this case, u is y squared. With our bounds here from 0 to 1. So we end up with just 3 e to the z. And remember, this, this u substitution was just for this inside integral. So we're going to have to go and evaluate our final integral. So sorry, we have to add that minus 3 in there. When you evaluate the 3 e to the z y squared, when you have e to the 0, you need to account for that with that negative 3. So going on to our, our final integral evaluation, we have our bounds there. And then we integrate this 3 e to the z minus 3 dz, a fairly simple integral. And then you evaluate this expression from 0 to 1. And you end up with 3e minus 6. And that's how changing the order of integration can make your life a lot easier in some situations.